Hurricane is hurricane season still. Yes. We still have a little bit more time. Through right? the end of November, we're still looking at uh, the tropics to find out any other disturbances that we're keeping an eye out on right now. Nothing threatening the Carolina coast as of right now, though. That's the good news. Yeah, and the other good news is I think record breaking temps. Yeah. I, I, I thought this was October, but it feels more like July. Yeah, it certainly feels more like July or more like September with the, the heat that we're getting, the 80s on tap for this time of year is well above the normal high of 69 degrees that we typically expect to get. So taking a look right now over our Hyatt Place Uptown camera, still warm and sunny for the afternoon, mild and cool to start your morning. We're at 50 degrees up through our mountain counties as you head up towards King Street in Boone. Winds are calm, but through Uptown, we're 10 degrees warmer at 60 degrees with winds coming out of the south at five miles per hour. I'm expecting a breezy afternoon today, starting off in the mid to upper 50s for that I-40 corridor. We're in the upper 50s around uptown, so continuing to feel mild as hour by hour gets us more in the way of the 60s for the later morning hours and then 70s through the midday with highs peaking in the mid 80s and forecasting a high of 85 for Charlotte uh, Concord east of I-77 towards the mid 80s. Low 80s on tap through our mountain counties with the higher elevations only peaking in the low 70s. Taking a look at your trick-or-treat forecast, if you're maybe celebrating Halloween later this evening, 5, 6, 7 o'clock, you're still going to be holding on to those 50s heading into your late evening hours. Now, we do have some rain on the way, which will arrive by Tuesday, just in time for Halloween, and that also brings a big dip in the temperatures where Monday starts the week off in the mid-80s. By Wednesday, you're looking at highs in the low 50s, so certainly going to be a massive difference, over 30 degrees between Monday into Wednesday, courtesy of that cold front. Satellite and radar dry as of right now with some of those showers off to our north and west impacting the Midwest to the northeast, and we had the blast of cold that's stretching from parts of Illinois, Chicago, all the way down to Oklahoma. That's where we have highs limited to the upper 30s for parts of Oklahoma City. Denver peaking in the mid-20s, the blast of cold air coming out of Canada is tracking along the uh, east coast, which will give us some cooler temperatures, but not after getting very warm this afternoon, forecasting highs in the mid 80s all across the Carolinas. Now we're talking about your future cash. Rain chances pick up heading into Tuesday. This is 10 a.m. where I'm expecting some spotty showers at best to linger heading into your trick or treating hours. Then we're going to dry out with much cooler air and colder temperatures behind that. We could use this rain as drought conditions continue. Severe drought just along that I-85 corridor around the Queen City. Tonight dropping down into the upper 50s near 60 degrees. Panthers forecast starting off kickoff 1 p.m. hosting the Texans with upper 70s making a run for the mid 80s by the second half of the match. And of course your uh, Halloween forecast calls for those upper 50s with potential showers on tap heading into Tuesday. So we are going to be much cooler with another warming trend getting us back into the 60s as we head into the end of next week.